Greetings scholars, I hope this message finds you all well. Today we'll be working on how to figure out the meaning of a word if you don't have a dictionary available. We're gonna be using a method known as context clues. Context clues. So first the word context means within the framework of, and we all know that a clue is something that gives us an idea. We're gonna learn context clues by playing the context clues riddle game. Read each sentence silently. Think about what the highlighted word means and the type of context clue you use to arrive at your answer. You don't have to write anything down. You'll have 30 seconds to answer each riddle. The types of context clues we're looking for are synonyms, antonyms, inferences, and definitions. Riddle number one. Since it was raining outside, I used my bumper shoot to keep from getting wet. The answer. A bumper shoot is an umbrella. The context clue is the inference. We inferred from it being raining outside, using something to keep from getting wet would be an umbrella. Riddle number two. Unlike Kyle, who is a conformer and a follower, Jeremy is a maverick. Answer. A maverick is a loner, someone who is independent of the group. Our context clue was an antonym or contrast. The word unlike let us know we were looking at an antonym or contrast. Number three, the renivorous hawk, an animal that eats frogs, is found in Central and Eastern Africa. Answer, renivorous means frog eating. Our context clue was the definition. Oftentimes, the definition will be found right after a statement. So, renivorous hawk, an animal that eats frogs, gives us the definition within the context. Riddle number four. In class, Julia was so cantankerous that her grumpy behavior negatively affected everyone. Cantankerous means grouchy or ill-tempered. Our context clue was a synonym or restatement. Grumpy is a synonym for cantankerous. Let's do a quick review. Why are context clues important? They help us to find unfamiliar, difficult words in text. They help us to become better readers more perceptive readers. They come in handy during tests when a dictionary or the internet is not available to us. So when we're taking our PSSAs or whatever tests we have to take, we can read a passage and infer from the text surrounding it using synonyms, antonyms, definitions, what a word means. Where are context clues found? Usually in the same sentence as the difficult or unfamiliar word, Oftentimes, if not in a sentence, you can go on, they'll be in the same paragraph or passage and the, as the unknown word. And context clues can be in the sentences following the word, for example. They're called context clues because they're found in the context of the sentence or passage. Context clue number one, definition. A definition will use the unfamiliar word directly defined in the sentence in which it appears. They're usually set off by commas or dashes and may include the use of words as, or, that is, and in other words. For example, apples, red fruits that grow on trees are my teacher's favorite. There we have apples, a comma that then defines what an apple is. Context clue number two, antonym or contrast. The unfamiliar word is defined by using the words opposite or contrasting meaning. This type of context clue usually includes the words whereas, 
unlike, as opposed to, however, in contrast to, but, or on the other hand. An example, unlike Jen, who was easygoing, Jackie was fastidious. Because of the word unlike, we're gonna then be able to know that fastidious is an antonym of easygoing. Synonym or restatement, context clue number three. Words with similar meanings are used within the same sentence or around the unfamiliar word. An example, Santa Claus was portly and his doctor declared him overweight. Santa Claus was so portly that his doctor declared him overweight. Here they use a restatement, portly and overweight, which are also synonyms. Context clue number four, inference. Word meanings are not directly stated in the text, but definitions of unfamiliar words can be assumed by both prior knowledge and the context in which the word sits. Example, she was so famished that people felt sorry for her and gave her food to eat. Because people gave her food to eat, we then can infer that famished means hungry. Hey, context clue, I remember you. By using the acronym SAID, you can remember the four types of context clues. Synonym, antonym, inference, and definition. That will conclude this portion, this lesson for today. I hope you all enjoyed it. excellent day on purpose.